All right, so let's open it up. Let's see. We should be able, okay, so now we should be able to open it. We got a user manual. We got this. I think we can hook it up to maybe to a TV or to a monitor with this cable. And then we got this USB, try to update it. And then we got this uh, uh, USB, mini USB to USB right from for updating. And we finally have our tool right here. Let's see if we can turn it on or we might need batteries or we might need to charge it. I don't know. Let's see. Or maybe we just connect it to the, to the car and then it turns on by itself. We don't see, I don't see any buttons here. Okay, so I'll bring the car down and plug it in and then we're gonna see how it works. All right guys, so I'm in my Ford Fusion right now. As you can see, we have the ABS light, this other light with the car slipping and the check engine light, they're on. So we're gonna try to take that ABS light and that other light with our new scan tool, as you can see. Oh, there's my, my other scan tool that I was trying to use, but it wasn't working. As you can see, it goes all the way, and then right at the, at the very end is where I can push, and then it barely breaks. Um, I took some air out, but it just wasn't getting enough air out of the lines. I changed the ABS motor, and I also changed the booster. And it also changed the master cylinder. So uh, the last thing it needs is having those lines bled. Probably my issue in the first place was that there was air on the ABS module. So that could have been like the issue from the beginning. But anyways, at least like now I have all like the whole brake system new. We're gonna go ahead and uh, bleed this ABS system with the tool and see if it finally we can get it to work okay, So I'm pressing all the way in it doesn't really break But it's jerking so there must be some other issue In the motor may, might be a misfire uh, I think there's a hose that needs It's broken so we have to change that hose All kinds of issues with this car but we're gonna get it working Okay guys, so this is what I was working with before. Um, it's a cheaper scan tool, um, which I connected on my phone, but it wasn't doing it. It was, uh, apparently it wasn't turning on the motor on the ABS module long enough, so uh, air wouldn't come out. So I did some research and they said I had to get a better tool. So this is, for ABS. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. Let's see. It's a little bit harder with doing it with only one hand. I hope you guys subscribe and watch the whole video. Okay. I need to get um more watch hours and then hopefully I get some money from YouTube. Anyways, um, if you guys can help me out, that would be amazing. Anyways, this is our tool right here. I can move with this arrows. We're gonna press airbag, ABS and airbag. So it's gonna region, so America. Okay. So here I get some options. Let's see the options that I, that I have. So we're gonna choose Ford. Okay, we're gonna choose Ford. Okay. And now 
We have two options. We have the option of smart be VIN, smart VIN. I guess it's something like automatic. So we're gonna turn our key on the on position of the car and switch it on on. I'm not gonna turn it on. And then I'm gonna hit on smart VIN and see what it reads. Okay. So yeah, that's the car for Fusion 2.5, Duratec engine, inline four cylinders, 2012 gasoline automatic. Okay, so we're gonna hit yes, so F1. And then control modules, let's see what, or special functions, let's see what, no, chassis, braking, okay, here it is. Okay, so before continuing, refer to the workshop manual and complete all necessary steps before starting test. Prepare vehicle for test. Turn ignition on. Depress pedal and hold. So I'm gonna press the pedal. Okay. And it says hold, so I'm gonna press F3. So the ABS module is flashing. This went all the way down. I can hear the module in the ABS, the model, the motor on the ABS module going. But then I got an issue here. I got an error, no communication. So I just gonna fix this really quick. I think it's the battery that. This connection that I have to put some tape like I used to, like I did before. All right, we're gonna try again. So smart bin, scanning. Case weight, yes. Special functions, chassis braking, ABS bleed. Okay, so I gotta depress the brake pedal and hold. So I'm gonna press it and then, at this, and then I'm gonna press F3, which is okay. So watch, see, so that's gotta happen. And then hold, I gotta keep holding. No communication, so. Something with the connection. Okay guys, so that kept uh, failing, it would load until like 11% and then it would disconnect, I don't know why. But I'm gonna do it a different way. So, functions menu. We can do control modules there. And then we can do it special functions. So, actually we can do control modules here. So it would be the second one. APS anti-lock braking system, and then we can read the ECU inf information. So it'll tell us all the information about the ECU, uh, the computer. So we're gonna go back and then back again. And then I'm gonna press read codes. So we're gonna read the codes. Uh, yes, it's on, so yes. Let's see, so now it's off. I, my lights are off, my ABS lights are just turned off. Anyways, we can see we have two codes. The pump motor circuit failure and then battery voltage out of range. So it's strange because it should be working. Uh, okay. Live data, let's see what we got here. Let's see. So we got the main brake pressure system, booster main pressure. So we have all these options here. Okay. Right, we got plenty of options here. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna 
go back active test i'm gonna go to active test and then what i want to do is press the make the hydraulic pump motor work and then i'm gonna press it press the brakes many times and then i'm gonna bleed the brakes okay so we're gonna turn it on so we're gonna press f2 so now it's on so i'm now let's see off okay turn it off and then i'm gonna turn it on condition not correct okay let's see on let's see Okay, left front, okay, so we're going to start with the right rear, so with the right rear, let's see, off, so I'm going to turn it on and see what happens. So now I have more pressure, so now the one that turned on is the one for the um, rear passenger side tire so I'm gonna bleed that tire and then so it's off so I'm gonna should have pressure there so I'm gonna turn it off okay now I'm gonna go back and then inlet valve so it's off I'm gonna turn it on so Try it again on. Okay. Turn it off. And I'm gonna do the uh, outlet valve. So I'm gonna press. Okay, I'm gonna pump when I press. And then I'm gonna turn it on. See, so now it pushed it even more. So now I should have some pressure on my line and I should be able to remove the air. So I'm gonna go to that tire in the back. I'm gonna keep this press. I'm gonna have this. So I'm gonna put this thing on the brake and it's gonna keep holding down. And then I'm gonna open the, the perch valve there and make sure I don't have any more air. Okay, so we're in the back tire and we're gonna bleed this brake. So it's, let's see. If we can get some air. Let's see. Try to not make a mess. Put the oil here. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Yes, there. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that, but there was some air coming out. Okay, I'm gonna close this now again. And I'm gonna run that tool again. I'm gonna try to get more more air out. <laughs> 